Okay, guys, I am making this video to give you a quick update on my current situation. You know, I like to keep you guys updated on different things, you know, so I just call this a little ride along, if you want to call it that. But the update I want to give you is the last I spoke to you, I was going through some trials and tribulations in regards to the assault against my son. So, you guys, let's t let me show you how things happen within the TI world. Okay, you know, the lawyer that I was working with, all of a sudden he disappears, meaning the law firm that he was conducting business out of has no clues of my lawyer's whereabouts. They said he just upped and left and left my case on the desk along with another um, case that he was working on and nobody knows he didn't leave no he didn't submit no resignation he didn't do anything he just left so this is what happens to TIs in our world mysterious things happens to people that gets involved and in, within helping you so however I do have another lawyer that's taking over that's actually better lawyer than I had previously but I'm just saying it's prolonging justice to be done due to the fact when you're in the TI world things don't go according to plan it's going to be a whole bunch of trials and tribulations just to get to one answer to seek help um but through this all you guys my goal of making this video today is to tell you to not give up I don't care how long it takes you keep doing something why would you die in silence I'm not going to give up when they told me that he wasn't there, I said, okay, next. And if this, the same law firm can't conduct business accordingly, next, I'm going to the next person. I'm not going to lose sleep, you know. I'm just going to keep jumping and jumping into, if I got to stand out and protest for myself to seek justice in order for my son to be treated fairly or equally accordingly like everybody else is, I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm making this message because I know they, they have trolls that watch our message in order to see what's your next move. I don't tell them all my strategies to game of chess, but this is to let my opponents know that she's not giving up. I'm not going to die in silence. I was watching other people's videos, and, you know, and one man said that somebody attacked him within his home by shooting him. He survived it, thank God, but... They was trying to kill this man because he was getting closer to seeking justice because he had caught proof of people within his home on a surveillance camera. And so that's enough justice right there to know that people entered his home without his permission. And it was pretty much from what the video looked like. They was either security officials or someone within um, a higher authority because they had on uniforms okay so they try to shoot him and take him out but he, God I'm telling you guys God has to last say so these people cannot take you out unless God says it's time to take you out so you going through what you going through to make you stronger because this battle has made me stronger and also wiser wiser for me to understand and stand up for myself because I used to be bullied to silence Oh, she's not going to be bullied no more. And as for you, T.I.s, please don't let these people bully you into silence because this is crazy. Today I noticed, you know, a car that was waiting at the corner when the light was green. And then when you pull up, all of a sudden they realize their light is green. Are they waiting for you? Who knows? Then when you get up on the license plate, the license plate was a fake license plate. The reason why I said it was fake because it had the numbering on the license plate, but it like it was printed. It looked like cardboard. It looked like a temporary license plate when you go to a car dealer and it and it has the advertisement of the car dealership on it. It was one of those type of dealerships. I mean, type of license plate. But it had the numbers on it to make it seem like it blends in as if it was real. So come on, you guys. This is what we're dealing with. So why bully be bullied into silence when people got to know our story? I typed up different letters. I typed up different flyers. It doesn't cost that much to con to type up a letter. If you don't have a computer, you can go to your local library and print it out for 10 cents and then make copies and pass them out. Mail them to your neighbors anonymously, anonymous if you don't want to people know exactly who you are. This is what I'm doing. And I'm not afraid to tell them that's what I'm doing. I'm sending them out, mailing them out to different Congress people. Um, I'm mailing them out. You know, 
It's not even putting my name or address on it just to know that this sick crime is going on within this world. It's a crime, you guys. You did nothing wrong. These are cowards that are attacking you because they're afraid to face you face on face because they know that you have the knowledge and intelligence to shut them down. And people, when they're in fear, are fearful, they will do things to attack secretly to harm you because they're afraid of you for some reason. Something you did. It's not just a, I think you're a terrorist. It's not just um, you pissed somebody off. These people fearing you for some reason where they have the police patrolling you. They have school buses getting involved, endangering innocent kids. When somebody says, you know what, this person is highly dangerous, we want you to follow you. What a school bus of kids? Those parents need to know what they're doing with their kids. They have these kids on a school bus at my son's school, you know, and they sit there and wait until I come. They block me off. You That's reckless danger. Reckless driving and endangerment to a child. Why would you cut me off with a bus full of kids more than once? Even like to the point where other parents be looking like, why did you see that? But nobody's speaking up to call them out and saying, this bus is driving reckless with kids on it. Okay, so this is the stuff I'm telling you they're doing. And these parents need to be aware of this. That these are what these people are using these kids as pawns against us. Because they know that we are not criminals and we're not people that would attack innocent civilians especially children so what they'll do they'll use children as a soft spot knowing like yeah if I cut her off she's not gonna cuss me out or she's not gonna do anything because the kids are on the bus and she's not like that these people already ran your background they've been through your house they rumble through your track they know if you are a violent individual by now come on now look at the news the propaganda that they're putting out there about different media situation you might be a person that just awoke to the false news that has been put out there or you know some secret top stuff that the government don't want you to spread the word about so they're trying to scare you into silence why be silent why why go to sleep every night knowing that you are done wrong your family may not be listening to you. Who cares? I'm listening to you. The other people on your video page is listening to you. So why you don't think that somebody else might not be listening to you within your community? You will never know until you voice your opinion and try. And that's what I'm I'm doing, you guys. So, like I said, it was just an update to keep you updated and let you know that you know the crazy things that you're going through so if somebody is going through what i'm going through don't they know like oh i'm not the only one that's experiencing this don't give up because my son was assaulted and i still can't get a police report have anybody in their life heard of that that's your you're a victim to the point where you need surgery and you don't have your own police department to back you up and saying you need to get justice served. Uh, and it's not a racial thing. I can't sit here and, and pinpoint it on. Oh, it's racially motivated. No, it's just I'm a target individual. And they feel that my life should be hard. That maybe th- these people are sick in the mind and feel that my son deserved it just because he's related to me. You get what I'm saying, you guys? But do that mean that I go crawl in the bed and cry and depressed and want to commit suicide no they're trying to glorify suicide because that's what they want us to do you watch the movies that's out right now called 13 reason Why's. they trying to give you an idea how to take yourself out this world don't fall for it you watch the news and, and the suicide rates are fired at high but nobody sits back and says why is a sewer suicide rate at such a high right now this is why, because so many people are in a secret program and can't get help, and it's sad because you can't even seek help from your friends or family because they're brainwashed. And that's another thing I want you guys to understand, be clear, that some of these people that are involved don't even know they're involved. They're brainwashed with the MK Ultra and all these chemtrails you see. It's causing people to have these hip like being a hip, um, to be like under a hip knot. How you say the word? I'm sorry. I'm like trying to drive and talk at the same time. So my mind is everywhere. They can be like in a state of mind where they feel like they're being hypnotized. So they really are not aware of their surroundings, you know? 